Tukiongea mambo ya type traits. Nalani ni vila tulisema we want to adapt the structure to the environment. So, I will just concentrate on the key areas. Zira naona, ziko very important kwa hii type trait. Because uh, if we are to go through it, the whole of it, then uh, it has to cost a lot of time. So what we want to do is to adapt the structure to the environment. Because the structure must be adopted to the environment. Sijui ni kita kuhuliza. Watu wangapi wameenda huko watirukana wakapata watu wafupi sana. Eh? Turukana. Turukana nani ya meenda turukana huko? Eh? Unapatanga watu wanakaji? Watu walefu? Migu? <laughs> Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Nimesema tutu dumia example ya turukana hata steel. Na mtu kama metoka huko wazirata shinda eh? Eh? <laughs> Kwa nini uende upate ni warefu, ni unye mbamba lakini murefu? Mata ni meongea na ziju njogona wea kama umereko ndiyo ni ya unaweza niretea jinda ya waturukana. Eh? <laughs> Iyo utato. <laughs> so the reason is structure has to be adapted to the environment. Wow, because of the heat and walking. Lazimu wakue na wrong legs na wakue torn because they need to walk longer distances. The same case. If you go to our community, Masai, utapata tuko the same evil. So our structure has to be adapted to environment. And that is basically what we are doing. Now when you talk about type traits, it's because we want to adapt the structure, the type of the cow, to the environment. So, when we are talking about uh, this topic of type, type has already standardized what is there. Type is not talking about the future. It is talking that cow in relative to the current average. That cow in relative to the current average. Like for example, if we are to standardize our height in this room, to say we want to check the stature in this room, to tachukua the tallest person, na tuchukua the shortest person. Arafu wapa katikati sikuna hii ako katikati. Then to ambiane kwa hii room, mutu yote ako murefu kuliko hii ako katikati, yaenda kwa pandea watu warefu. Mutu ya hote mfupi, haenda kwa pande ya watu wa fupi. That is what we call standard transmitting ability, STA. Inakuwa hivi. So, yura tukizama uyu ndiye zero, ndiye katikati. Simunaerewa zi kumanisha ana haiti. Haiti ya konayo. Lakini ndiye standard ye, yetu. So, kutoka hapo, kama ni wale wa fupi, watakuja pande hii. Kama ni wale wa refu, watakuja pande hii ingine. So tutakuwa na wachacha warefu sana na wachacha wafupi sana wale watu wengi watakuwa katika katikati. Now tukiamua sasa ni kuangalia mambo ya STA or now mambo ya type eh? I'll just because of time concentrate with the most important areas. And I'm sure you saw one of the major causes of carrying zilikuwa ngapi? Sio carrying ya kubeba niliwaambia wajane na kimeru yangu. Eh? Hiyo <laughs> carrying ya kuondoa ngombe kwa nini? Tulisema Ni, ni ngapi na ni gani na gani? Ha? Eh? Nani wanaanza na production sasa? Reproduction. Mastitis. Lameness. Very good. Those are the major ones. So, we need to check these animals that we are producing on a zero grazing unit. How are the feet adapted to the unit? Unaelewana? How is that structure? Structure how is it adapted to that environment that we want them to be in a zero grazing unit, mali watashinda, the whole day, na wakiwa hivo. So that is what we want to look. So I will be very brief. Na tutatumia moja, tukifauru kwa raini moja tu, ujua tumefauru zote. Hata kama makaratazi hiku tosha leo, ni tataka tuende kwa wale wako na eru na phenomenon, tuanze item number one, ni wana wame ingia mpaka mbendru mbwana. Hmm? Kwa haja nirudi nyuma kindogo, eh? Eh? Wacha turundi hapo. Unataka nikai hapa? <laughs> so, what we are saying, eh? Si munaona hiyo tempo? Hii, hii kwa mwisho huku, this is what we are calling the type. Hiyo raini zinaenda ambere green, zingina zinaenda ambere, zingina zinarundi nyuma. Hiyo ndiyo ina describe the type of that cow, what do you expect? How should the daughters look like? So, ndiyo nasema, tukisha ere wanwa ya kwanza moja. Hizo zingine zote ni wakova. Tuta wakova hizo zingine na dakika mbili. Taenda tu ni kuambia lele vanzi ya hii na hii na hii na hii. So, 
wale wanaangalia hapo line ya kwanza imeandikwa nini hapa hapa kumeandikwa nini stitcher ehe hapa short ehe napata line alafu eh thor na mbele yake kuna kafika kako hapo eh si ndio umesema dudumia ndume gani so tuko tuko na hero ndio na phenomenon si ndio haya nao ukiangalia kama stitcher stitcher ni eti ya ngombe at the ram tukitumia fenomeno nama nini ama for example hiyo stabasco iko hapo stitcher ni eti ya ngombe at the ram sasa niende nikiruka mambo mingi naona mali tunapimia stitcher wapi kutoka chini mpaka stitcher ni eti ya ngombe at the ram we are interested in stitcher because just as i told you at some point we don't want to breed tall cows anymore no breeding tall cows those who are fancy with these tables ukiuziwa ndume uone kila kitu mara hii zinaenda huko mwisho mwisho you are there's a danger because image three science has proven that if you continue to breed those tall cows they are the cows that have the biggest problem with the feet and the legs unaona because that supporting that weight on a thorough structure they start developing issues in there so we are now working towards breeding medium sized cows and that is where you see as in genex most of the bulls tunaleta tunataka stage yende negative isienda nini positive so we want it to go negative so that we bring the height down so that we able to stabilize those cows and as we said lameness is one of the major causes of calling so the more you breed them tall the more likely you are going to get instances of lameness and the more likely you are going to call what those cows see hapo tunaelewana so stitcher there was yake ni ya kuwa if you breed it tall you expect the problems with feet and legs you expect things like lameness to come in na utaitoa so the point is we want them to do what to come down ukipima ngombe yako for example if you see in these catalogs eh, the extreme positive will be with tight 0.6 inches the extreme negative is 54 but now we want to bring them down even to 55 inches that is that's for the hosting eh? we bring them down to 55 inches at the ramp that will be best and that is what is going to work for us so don't bring those tall cows anymore i remember <laughs> The next picture I'm going to say to show you but because in Jagona kaone line sita sema ni shamba ya nani lakini ni Nairobi hii pande ya Rongai hapo hapo mwenyewe anijue miaka kadhaa imepita nilikuwa namwambia don't bring tall cows akaniambia anataka tall ile hata kinashindwa kuingia kwa nyumba <laughs> when i visited him like three years ago i found all those cows kwa sikimbe lakini unaona those are tall cows unaona mimi naiwekelea mkono hivi mimi ndiye huyo kitu nyauzi unaona hapo katikati eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know na ngombe na wekelea mkono hivi you can imagine now tall they are but if you look at here ni vile sikupiga hao ngombe wote angalia huyu unaona hiyo manjenti ya miguu angalia huyu vile amejikunja mgongo shinda bando ilikuwa nini miguu so if you bring those tall cows definitely utavuna ulicho anda so that is hiyo ndiye anavuna Siku hizi alinisikiza sasa saa hii tunaenda tukifanya nini tukipunguza tuki height so height punguza hiyo ni moja the second one hapo imeandikwa nini strength si ndio and because of time hatutaenda through zote mimi tutaenda moja mbili hivi alafu tuachane nayo strength strength tunaipimanga na upana wa ngombe pale kwa kifua eh let me see whether you can strength upana wa ngombe hapa kwa kifua because we want to breed strong cows strong cows ukimwangalia akikanyanga chini hivi atakanyanga na miguu yake ikiwa apart hata kanyanga hivi tunaelewana akikanyanga chini hivi hivyo ndivyo miguu yake inakaa strong it has a strong chest the chest is free it's not congested the cow can breathe easily can walk the weight of the body is balanced on the four 
So hiyo ndiyo tunaangalia ikiwa strength ya ngombe. And we want to bring strong cows. So when we are doing breeding our interest is to breed short strong cows. You see what I'm now saying? Iteremushe ikue medium lakini ikue na strength. Ikue sasa the weight of the body is completely balanced on the on the legs. So if you look at it in practical examples eh? Look at that cow. Wale macho yao inafika hapo. Hiyo kifua unaionaje? Sinaona? The weight of the body is balanced chini ya miguu. That is the kind of cow you want. We don't want that is an average but now look at that one. Ukitaka kuangalia ngombe wako kama wako strong, enda tu muangalie akiwa ametulia tu. Sadhiri anakula tu akiwa ametulia. Ukiona anazimama Hiyo yote inakuja pamoja hii inakuambia is a weak animal and weak animals will not also live longer in the farm it has a correlation with longevity so we want to bring what strong medium sized cows si hapo tumeelewana very good tumesema tutaenda tukikimbia eh the next one is bone depth bone depth our interest kwa bone depth eh? We want animals that can feed enough and go to rest. In what we normally call some small fats, na zemanga aka urai down like 12 to 15 times in a day. And for a cow to produce milk, the brand has to go through the under per day 500 400 to 500 liters circulating. And it is also known that when a cow is lying down the brand flow increases by 25%. So atutaki ngombe ameshinda amesimama the whole day. Tunaelewana? Atutaki ngombe ameshinda kukula the whole day akiwa amesimama. Tunataka mwenye atakula ration yake mara moja aende afanye nini? Alale, and digest pole pole, brand circulation ikue iko juu, anitengenezee nini? Maziwa. So that is why we are interested in bond in depth. Bond in depth ni uangalie ngombe chini na juu. Yeah? If you kiona chini ni parallel hapo unajua bone depth ukiona at least iko na yani basically ni kitu unaona kwa macho like now if you have to go practical eh unajua ukiangalia kama njogona si unaona njogona akona bone depth nzuri eh bone depth akikula mara moja lakini mwingine anastaki kutaja unaona huko mbele ni <laughs> so hiyo ndiyo nataka tuelewane look at that cow mnaionaje si unaona iko na iko na capacity like now hata hata kama tungekuwa na connection niweke my CCTV camera on kwa chamba utakuja kulia rais utapata ngombe kama wawili watatu ndio wana wana randa randa wengine walikula wakafanya nini wakalala au ana randa randa watashinda the whole day wakipiga ila wanazemanga kupiga randa eh yeah. so we don't want those one now ni capacity iko chini tunataka ikule mara moja iende ilale itutengenezee nini maziwa so ukikompare like that one now a nice one and compare with this one si unaona hiyo sasa hakuna kitu so hii ni kale kangombe katashinda kuzurura na nini hapo na na nini na trafu hapo kana pika randa mmebakisha nini hapo mmebakisha nini pale <laughs> dakika mbili kana rara kana rundi tunataka capacity so ukiangalia if you can build the idea of a cow we want you to build tumeshukisha medium iko strong na iko na depth that cow hata ukienda kwa most of the farms uone ngombe inakaa hivyo uliza mkulima eh hey, hii ngombe ni alini utazikia hii ndio imezaa wote because akazee kangi akatokangi hapo kangombe very efficient tunaelewana so that is the kind of cow i want us to to breed then i'm been jumping some things because of time then there is what we call the other one hapo kwenye tu mnasoma tukisonga dairy form dairy form is an aspect that we want a dairy cow chochote kile itakula i convert into milk dairy cows we don't want them to convert into meat or fat We want them to convert to milk. So if you look at typical good dairy cow, utapata shingo yake ni nyembamba, haina nyama. It is thin, long and slender. Neck doesn't have meat. Tunaelewana? Nikisema kwa kimeru haina nyama. 
lakini si kumaanisha ateni <laughs> utaniuliza iko na nini <laughs> lakini haiweki nyama kama ndume tunaelewana so the need, the neck is lean wrong and slender alafu ukiangalia hii ngombe huku hii mgongo yote hakuna mahali inajaza nyama especially hii mifupa ya nyuma ukiangalia utaiona vizuri ukiangalia rainy ya mgongo utaiona vizuri ukiangalia especially the lips the first four they are species you can even put your three fingers in between the ribs yeah that's an efficient converter ukiangalia ribs unaziona zenyewe there is no meat on the ribs tunaelewana eh then ukiangalia the, the ribs are wind spaced unajua za ndume zinafaa zikue thick yani zimeshikanishwa lakini za ngombe wa maziwa zinafaa ziwe zimewachanishwa so that now the efficiency in breathing and the rest is very efficient so hizo ribs zitakuwa unaziona utaona vile zinakaa vizuri hazina nyama ziko na space in between that is how andere cow should look like and therefore that is what we call andereness or andere form if you look at a cow like that one i'm not sure whether you can see well because your picture naona muangaza but look at even the shoulder blade kuna nyama mnaona kwa shoulder blade hakuna hiyo ngombe ikuambia chenye anakula ana convert to to milk But now ukipata ngombe anakuja anajaza yote ama umecross na ile white and yote unaona ka, unaona kamejaza yani kila pahali hiyo ni kukuambia literally part of what she is eating she is converting to fat and meat tunaelewa so it depends with what you want to see so if you look at a cow like that one that's a very nice dairy cow kuna wakati tulienda kwa jamba moja na jamaa kununua shamba nikapata ngombe alikuwa mzuri na hata alikuwa na kiwara mzuri ilikuwa inakaa hivi nikamwambia chukue hii nasema siwezi chukue hii imekonda hivyo nikaomba mbeleka akasema hapana nasema yeye atachukua kingine kalikuwa hapo smooth nini nini nikasema wewe chukua chukue hiyo utajionea after kameanza kukamuliwa eh na yule mtu alituzia ngombe ina maziwa kabisa na mwambia lakini si ulikataa ngombe ya maziwa ukachukua ya nyama <laughs> kwani watu watu wa hii expecting <laughs> kwani watu wa hii expecting Si ulivuna ulichopanda eh so if you look at a cow like that one and for example another cow like that one look at that one hako unaona kana kaa aje eh kana kaa zozi nje <laughs> murumuru was eh <laughs> kamejaza nyama huku kashingo ni kafupi kamejaza nyama if you see a cow like that one jua whatever you are feeding is going to both milk and meat production So decision yako if you want to produce for both meat and milk that one will be good for you if you want to do for milk then the other one will be good for for you objective so to go pamoja yeah